Today, I put rookie Thanasis Antetokounmpo on the Milwaukee Bucks, but he has Giannis's potential. Thanasis is set to become an NBA superstar, but it's gonna take him some time. He's starting off as a 68 overall. But once that potential kicks in, Thanasis will be able to take over the lead. Without any more talking, let's get into year one, Thanasis' rookie year. Season number one is wrapped, and Thanasis didn't win rookie of the year. He's starting off as, what, a 69 overall? His brother Giannis is still way better than him at this point. But give the Nassis time, he'll catch up. Also, the Bucks were the five seed this season. The Nassis did not see the floor at all. So technically, the Nassis will have a chance at Rookie of the Year next year because he hasn't played just yet. We ended up losing in the conference finals this year. And headed into season number two, the Nassis is already up to a 72 overall. Give him one or two more years and he should be playing real rotational minutes. Season number two is wrapped. And this year, Thanasis did see the floor. He averaged a whopping 0.4 points per game. They were calling him Mr. Perfect in Milwaukee. He shot 100% from the field. He played one minute. And this year, we ended up losing in the second round. On the season, we won 45 games. But hopefully, Thanasis can start leading us to championships sooner rather than later. Thanasis is now up to a 75 overall. He's the seventh best player on the team and the second best small forward on the roster behind Chris Middleton. So what that means to me is he's going to be getting some run out there this year. Season number three is wrapped and this was the year where Thanasis made his breakthrough. He wasn't an all-star or an all-NBA player or anything, but he was out there hooping. How did we get to Aaron Fox? We'll get to that in a second. But for now, I want to show y'all what Thanasis did. 12 points per game and about three rebounds as a 75? He was only playing 17 minutes per game. I would say that's really good for a 75 overall. Now we got to see how we got D Fox. We traded Chris Middleton in a first, the finesse of a century. With us still having Damian Lillard, the new addition of De'Aaron Fox, we've also got Giannis, and then we've got the Nassis, who's an up and coming star? Come on, we might have a super team. The Nassis is now up to a 78 overall. He's one of the six best players on the team, and he should be starting at small forward this year. I'm excited to see what he can do in a starting role. Also, oh my goodness, it's lame time. He's an 83 overall. The Nassis, you might have to pick up some of the slack with Dame falling off, but I believe in you. I know you can do it. Another season in the books, apparently Luka went to the Warriors, and this year we did not start the Nassis onto the Kumpo. But you know why we didn't start the Nassis? Because the Bucks gave up on him. He got traded away to Minnesota for Wendell Carter and TJ Warren. And maybe a change of scenery was exactly what he needed, because the improvement continued for the Nassis onto the Kumpo out of his brother's shadow in Milwaukee. 15 points per game, 4 rebounds, 1 assist, that's good. And he was doing all of that in only 24 minutes per night. He's also going to have a chance to play alongside rising superstar Anthony Edwards. The Minnesota Timberwolves are in the play-in tournament this year, and they do end up missing out on the playoffs. But we'll see if the Nassis can help the Timberwolves become a contender in his next chapter in this league. Wait, what? I don't know how long this has been here, but apparently the Nassis got a hundred million dollar deal. And I did not give him that contract, just to be clear. I guess teams see the value in Thanasis' potential. A hundred mil for a 78 is nuts. But he's not a 78 anymore. Thanasis is entering the 80 overall club. He's up to an 81 at 24 years old. He's got a well-rounded game. A minus three-point shooting, a B in the mid-range, great perimeter defender, can score inside at a high level. He needs to improve upon the playmaking a little bit, but overall, he's got a great game. Call me crazy. Crazy, but I think the Nassis can break through and average 20 PPG this season. We'll have to see. Also, if you're enjoying the video so far, I'd really appreciate if you consider subscribing. We recently hit 30,000 subscribers, and now we're trying to make the push to 40k. Thank you guys so much for all the support.
Another season in the books. It's so weird to see Luca in a Warriors uniform. And remember how I was talking about the Nasus averaging 20 points per game this season? That prediction was spot on. 21 points per game on the year, six rebounds, three assists, a steal, two blocks. He was going crazy. The efficiency definitely needs to get better, but that'll come around. Give him some time. And this year we're in the play in tournament where the seventh seed, I really hope we can earn a playoff spot. And we actually do. So in the first round, we're going to be taking on Victor Wembenyama and the San Antonio Spurs. Ooh, they've also got Rob Dillingham. I know March Madness is coming up. I think it might be starting today. Anyway, let's get to this series. Game number one will go to the Spurs. The Spurs are also going to take game two. Oh, we're cooked. We finally won a game in game four, but we lose the series in five. Don't blame the Nassis, though. He was out there hooping. I mean, 39% from the field is nasty work, but hey, he'll come around. Right now, I'm not too worried about the efficiency. I know once his overall goes up, he's going to be more efficient from the field. Field. he's still scoring the ball a lot and that's exactly what I want to see that's really encouraging for me the Nasus is just steadily getting better he's up to an 84 overall now give him what maybe two more years and he should be a 90 hopefully with the Nasus's improvement we can make a second round appearance this year at the very least another season in the book Shea wins MVP do you all think he should be in the MVP conversation in real life and this year the Nasus and the T-Wolves ended up winning 40 games they benched him for OG OG in the world of 2k is absolutely trash that's why I was frustrated seven and a half points per game the Nasus was putting up 20 off the bench but anyway we were the seven seed this year so we're back in the play-in hopefully we can make our way into the playoffs and we will this this time we're gonna be taking on the houston rockets oh no 390 pluses is nuts we lost in five the nasus oh no 14.6 points per game we need him to be better than that on the biggest stage for sure but headed into this upcoming season the nasus antetokounmpo is up to an 87 overall also something to watch out for with the nasus he's got one year left on his contract so if he wants to he could pursue free agency next summer i wouldn't be opposed to the nasus leaving if we're not that good again this season we've been a consistent play-in squad which is fine but we just aren't really good enough to contend maybe that'll change this year though another season in the books and this year was a special season for the nasus antetokounmpo he made all nba third team averaging 25 points eight rebounds four assists two steals and two blocks the efficiency was way up as well the nasus is really coming into his own in this league unfortunately though as a team we were trash 34 win we even traded for trey young during the season that wasn't enough for us to go out there and win we had miles turner as well we traded deandre ayton and bobby portis for trey young that's a good trade but with the timberwolves being so bad this season the nasus antetokounmpo is going to be testing free agency this is the first time we get to see the nasus as an unrestricted free agent he can go wherever he wants to go but the timberwolves made it hard for the nasus to leave they brought out the brinks truck five years 230 million and he's going to be returning to minnesota i feel like this timberwolves team definitely has potential i mean we've got the nasus who just went up to a 90 overall we've got trey and ant-man i feel like that's a good big three now the supporting cast is pretty tragic but hopefully these three stars can make something happen another season in the books this year ace bailey wins mvp am i crazy to say that i could see the nasus winning one in the next couple years the nasus made second team this season averaging about 26 points per game and despite the nasus's greatness we were still a play-in team even though we got pascal siakam on a minimum oh my goodness he earned that minimum contract he was bad we got to win two playing games to make it into the playoffs and we were unable to do that the nasus how do i make you a superstar and you still disappoint me lock in the nasus it's time to go get a championship and at least make the second round you know at 28 years old the nasus is up to a 92 overall the stats are incredible across the board almost all a pluses for ante de i'm gonna need him to have an mvp type season and get this team back in the nba playoffs i'm not talking about the play-in tournament i'm talking about an actual 
actual playoff spot. Oh my goodness. This was a disaster of a season. For Thanasis individually, things were great. He made all NBA first team, putting up pretty similar numbers to what he's been doing the past couple years. But the issue is this team sucks. They won 27 games. Now the silver lining of this is we can land a top pick in the NBA draft that could potentially change the franchise. We've got a 14% chance at the number one pick. We just got to get a little bit lucky. We did not get lucky. We fell to six. Don't worry, Mac Lucas is ready to save the franchise. The Nassus is still improving. He's up to an 84 overall. Ant-Man's even improving at 30 years old. He's up to a 95. We just signed Trey Young to a huge deal. Five years, 296 mil. And we've even got a couple young pieces who are improving. There's no way we're as bad as last year. We won less than 30 games last season. I think that this year we can at least win 40. Another season in the books. Cam Boozer wins MVP. The Nassus makes first team once again and this year we won 39 games i thought we could win at least 40 but 39 is close enough and in the play-in we got the grizzlies oh my gosh we lost him round one of the play-in nine points the nasus five shots lock in we kept all our core players together unfortunately our core is trash but the good news is the nasus only has two more years left on his deal hopefully he will leave and never come back to minnesota as a matter of fact if we don't start winning soon i'm forcing him to leave minnesota when that contract's up there's no way he has any business coming back to this garbage team another season in the books ace bailey wins mvp the Nasus only third team? Come on. And we were the 15th seed, 29 wins. We even brought in Jalen Brunson on a minimum. But that didn't matter. We still sucked. One more season till Thanasis can get out of here. Team still pretty much looks the same. I can't wait for Thanasis to hit free agency. Another season in the books and the Timberwolves surprised me. Thanasis was all NBA first team and he led an incredible turnaround from Minnesota. We won 49 games. Oh, we got Patrick Williams on a minimum. He was averaging a smooth triple single, but he's a good defensive player. He can knock down his threes. I mean, I don't mind that pickup on a minimum at all. He helped us get back to the playoffs. In round number one, we got the Phoenix Suns. This is a pretty solid squad. I think we're better on paper though. We're up three to one. We're gonna lose game five and six. Don't blow the three one Thanasis. We're headed to a game seven here. You gotta lock in. You can't lose this one. It looks like game seven is coming down to the wire. We gotta jump in. We were down big in this game and we started coming back. Now it is a one point game here with about a minute to go. Vaughn is inbounding. He's gonna give it into Young. Young gives it right to Thanasis. Antetokounmpo is gonna pull the three and knock it down. Let's go Thanasis. You can shoot better than your brother. Acuff Jr. bringing up the ball. He's gonna go to the basket. Fake. Find Anthony Black wide open. He misses. Can we get the rebound, please? Did we just lose the ball? Oh my gosh, Trey Young, bro. I, I saw that rebound slip right out your hands. Bird is inbounding. Bird's gonna give it into A Cuff Jr. Wide open. We are all tied up here, about 46 seconds to go. Let's see if Ice Trey still has the ice in his veins. He's gonna swing it over to Patrick Williams for a three. Okay, Patrick. Huge shot from Pat Will. I didn't expect him to shoot that contested, but he was confident and he knocked it down. Now we've got a three point lead. A Cuff Jr. gonna get the screen up top. He's gonna fade from three and he misses the Nassus the rebound. And now he's gonna be going to the line for two big free throws. The Nassus, I hope you can shoot free throws better than your brother. First one is up. Oh no. One, two, three, four, five, six. Y'all remember when they were doing that? We got this was shooting the free throws, bro. The Nassus is gonna knock it down. And now the Timberwolves have a four point lead. Still plenty of time for Phoenix. Over 20 seconds left in the game. Arenas over to Acuff Jr. for a three. Oh my gosh, bro. We got to play better defense. Darius Acuff Jr. He's given us problems in this game. He's been finding himself wide open. He's got 35. I don't know why we're just leaving him open. It's clear he's hot in this game. Now Trey's going to the line for some foul shots. I trust him to make both. First one is good. Second one for Ice Trey is also good. We now have a three-point lead. 18 and a half seconds to go. Do not let let Darius get room from three. I know he'll knock it down. He's going to swing it over to Elijah Arenas. Elijah for three. And he misses. We get the rebound. We should be in the clear. Knock both of these down for me, Trey. And I know we're all good. 
First one is Cash. That's why they call him Ice Trey. He knocks down both the big free throws. And as long as they don't hit a three, we're good. Yep, they missed. We're done. We're out of here. We're moving on to round number two. Thanasis was having a stinker. Oh my gosh, he's kind of been selling in these playoffs. But he hit a big three, and we went ahead and got the dub. So it's all right. We move on. Next up, it's going to be the Oklahoma City Thunder. They always find a way to build a dynasty in these simulations. This might be one of the crazier teams I've seen them have. We've definitely got our work cut out for us. Game number one of the series will go to the Thunder. We win game two and three. They're going to take game four. So we got a big game five coming up. Series is all tied up here. And it looks like the Oklahoma City Thunder will get the best of us in game five. A solid effort from Thanasis, but it's not going to be enough. And now we're facing elimination, headed into game six. This is a must win. And with our season on the line, we just barely got out of there they tried to come back in the final seconds but now we've got another winner go home game seven it's pretty close in the third quarter headed into the fourth the thunder have the lead they pull away we end up losing to a stacked okc team and i understand this team is really good but Thanasis needs to be better in the playoffs the scoring dropped off significantly under the bright lights and after that playoff loss the Nassis can choose if he wants to leave minnesota or stay and it looks like minnesota's throwing him a bag he's probably coming back never mind the Nassis changed his mind in free agency and decided to make his way to charlotte and over in charlotte the Nassis is definitely going to be the focal point of the team they've got mark williams jerace walker donnell webb the third some good players for sure but we know who's going to be the number one option here. The Nasus Antetokounmpo. We'll see if he can lead a team to an NBA title. Another season in the books, and the move to Charlotte was pretty solid for Thanasis. He made All-NBA once again, actually had a career high in scoring with almost 30 points a night. And with Thanasis leading the way, the Thunder won 50 games. I would say that's really good. We were even able to pick up Ben Matherin on a minimum. That's a huge addition. And in round number one, we got the Washington Wizards. Pretty solid Wizards team, but I think we're better. We're up three to two on them, and we beat them in six. We're moving on to round two against the eight-seeded Pitts. This is a good team, especially for an AC. We're tied up at two apiece after four games. They're going to take game five, and we win game six. Setting up a winner go home game seven. Chance for the Nasses to make the conference finals. And oh my goodness, he's taking that chance and running with it. Yeah, the Pistons just got cooked. A 45 point win. The Nasses 54 12 and 2. This is a whole different version of the Nasses onto the Kumpo that we're seeing in this year's playoffs. Last year, he was completely selling in Minnesota. Look at the things he's doing now. Next up, we got the Brooklyn Nets. They got a solid big three in Brooklyn, but the Nassis seems to be on a hot streak in these playoffs. Maybe he can keep it going. We're up 2-0 early. We're up 3-0. We sweep them. And in the NBA Finals, we got our biggest challenge yet, the Oklahoma City Thunder. Also, look at those conference finals numbers for Thanasis. Incredible. But now we got to take on this team, man. If Thanasis can pull off this one, he might be the greatest ever. Game one will go to us. Thunder win game two. We take game three. Thunder take game four. Setting up a big game five with the series all tied up. Oh no, we're getting cooked. Game five didn't go so well, but we're going to keep it pushing. We just need a game six win. We'll force game seven and get the dub, right? Wrong. The Oklahoma City Thunder always have to ruin my day. Oh my goodness, bro. This team is just impossible. Cam Boozer finals MVP. How is this fair? Like they have all these great players in their starting five. They get some great players on minimums too. Like this, this shouldn't be possible. Thanasis, you gave your best effort, man. I'm giving him an A for effort. He tried his best. Coming off the finals run, this is what our squad is looking like. We picked up Zion. I don't know why. He's really old. And we also lost your Ace Walker. I don't love the team, but maybe Thanasis can carry. He was carrying in the playoffs. We saw the numbers. Dante Williamson wins MVP. We needed Zion to be the MVP this year. Thanasis tried his best to carry, but we only won 37 games. Replacing your Ace Walker, who was so good for us, with Zion, who is still good, but you know, man, 50 15 points per game and we're paying him 25 mil a year that that isn't great we did make the play in so we'll have a chance
chance we end up getting eliminated in round one. We didn't make any notable offseason additions, and Zion's getting even older. Luckily, Thanasis is headed into the last year of his contract. I think he should look to leave once this deal is up. Thanasis did it. He won MVP. 31 points per game, 9 boards, 5 assists. And in year 14, he won the most valuable player. Congrats to Thanasis. And as a team, we were decent. We won 46 games. Thanasis is not satisfied, though. He's ready to leave if things don't go well in these playoffs he's on the last year of his deal he didn't sign an extension in round number one we got the miami heat and we end up losing in six i know what that means the league mvp might just be ready to go solid playoff performance from thanasis unfortunately his teammates just didn't show up the way he needed them to but it looks like the nasus is gonna re-sign in charlotte he might change his mind but we'll see oh my goodness the nasus is going back where it all started he's headed to milwaukee isaiah harwell is also going there so we'll at least have a dynamic duo i think with this one-two punch we should have a contender in milwaukee let's get into another season we'll see if the reigning mvp can lead the bucks to a championship another season in the books percy bennett wins mvp Thanasis only made third team. Maybe the age is starting to catch up to him. He is 35. And because Thanasis' numbers dropped off so much, we only won 37 games. That makes us a play-in squad, and we actually did earn a playoff spot, winning both play-in games. And now we've got the Heat, led by Bronny James, Brandon McCoy, and Tory Robbins. Pretty decent squad over in Miami for sure, and they take us down in five. Thanasis tried to turn it up for the playoffs, but it just wasn't enough. I guess Isaiah and Giannis just wasn't good enough of a duo I thought they'd be better maybe the team could pick somebody up over the offseason try and turn our duo into a big three David Banks is up to an 82 maybe he can save the franchise another season in the books Dante Williamson wins most valuable player he's a 99 overall I want to find an auto-generated player who has goat-like potential and simulate his career for one of these videos I really think that would be fun so that might be a future video stay tuned and Anyway, Thanasis Antetokounmpo made second team, and we won 44 games, making us a play-in squad, but we were the eight seed this year, so we just got to win one playing game to get in, and we were able to do that. We got Chicago in round number one. Oh, we got to face Dante, the 99 overall. Yeah, we're probably cooked here. Wait, we actually won. We're moving on to round two against New York. That's a pleasant surprise. AJ DeBonsta is a 97. This is going to be another tough series for our squad, and this time we end up losing. Thanasis really tried his best. He's trying to win a ring before he retires. Now, the good news is he'll have a chance to enter free agency next offseason if he wants the chance to be on a contender. Because it's clear as of now, things are not working out too well in Milwaukee. Another season in the books, and this year the Milwaukee Bucks truly surprised me. Thanasis is on to the Kumpo made all NBA second team and the Bucks won 58 games ending off the season on a nine game win streak I'm not sure how we did this but I'll take it round number one we got the Chicago Bulls and we lost in seven we got blown out in game seven too it's dante williamson of course we had to face him and now thanasis antetokounmpo is set to hit free agency presumably this is the last time he'll be a free agent in his nba career because i think he'll be retiring soon and for now he says he wants to return to milwaukee but we know he's changed his mind before oh it looks like thanasis is sticking around in milwaukee it's only going to be a one-year deal though i mean it makes sense to stay with a team that was just the two seed we did lose in round one though but i mean hey he got 70 million to stay with the team we'll see if next year we can be a top seed and maybe actually win a playoff series another season in the books dante williamson might be the greatest ever and this year thanasis was on second team as we were the one seed in the east that's what I'm talking about, Thanasis. Late in your career, this might be one of your last chances to win a chip, so you got to take advantage. Round number one, we got the Wizards, and we beat them in six. All right, round two, it's going to be the Miami Heat. We're up three to two, and we're headed to a game seven. Let's see who the Heat have. They've still got Bronny. They've also got Caleb Gaskins and Toby Robbins. Conference finals trip on the line here in game seven. You got to show up, Thanasis. Like I was saying earlier, you're not going to have many more chances to win a championship championship and it looks like this one's gonna come down to the wire we gotta jump in about a minute and 40 seconds to go here and we are down by one the ball is gonna go into isaiah harwell harwell driving to the basket puts up 
the layup and misses. That's fine. We've still got time. It'd just be nice if we got to stop here. Bronny James is going to get the screen. James gives it down to Gaskins. Gaskins going to put up a deep hook and make it. Man, I swear, every time somebody puts up a deep hook in 2K, it always drops in these CPU games. Now we got the Nasus onto the Kumpo bringing up the ball for Milwaukee. The Nasus is going to get the screen here, and he's making his move. He goes to the basket, misses the layup, and can't secure the offense offensive board now it's gonna go up to robbins robbins trying to create some space in the mid-range fakes swings it over to james james out to porter porter is gonna get the screen from caleb gaskins gaskins pops pulls a three and misses all right this is probably our last chance here we need a bucket isaiah harwell up to onto the kumpo for a midi and he knocks it down only down by one here we do not need to foul james is gonna get the screen i'm assuming they're gonna chew clock they're going down to gaskins in the post gaskins takes a tough midi misses rebound the ball Porter grabs the board, puts it up, and gets fouled. Come on, Porter. Miss one of these for me. What is that free throw? He's got a hitch in his free throw, bro. Hold on. We got to see that again. Watch how he shoots it. He goes up, stops, pulls, misses. All right. We're going to get the rebound. Only down by two here. A three will give us the lead. It goes to Ante de Kumpo. He walks it back to the three-point line. We kind of need to do something soon. Time is winding down. Ante de Kumpo over to Hill. Hill floats one up, and he misses no the nazi should have been the one taking that shot 38 for monta de Kumpo in this one and we don't give him the ball on the biggest possession of the game actually he passed the ball on the biggest possession of the game you got to call your own number in that situation if you're Thanasis, we have been eliminated. But Thanasis isn't ready to retire just yet. He signed another one-year deal to stay with the Milwaukee Bucks. He is now 39, though, so I have to assume retirement is looming for Ante DeCumpo. We gotta make something happen, and soon. Another season in the books. Percy Bennett wins MVP. Thanasis made first team at 39, and we won 31 games, making us the third seed. Round number one, we got the New York Knicks. And we beat him. All right. Round two, it's going to be Indiana. Oh my gosh. I think we were just down 3-0 and came back. So just like that, we're in the conference finals taking on Miami. We went to a game seven against them last time. Let's beat them this time. We're up two to zero. We're going to lose in game three and four. We win game five and we finish the job in six. We're in the finals. The Nasus, this could very well be your last season. And this Grizzlies team sucks. You got this. This is a championship for you. Game one goes to us. We also win game two and three and four. The Nasus is named finals MVP. But Ante DeCumpo isn't ready to leave the game just yet. He's trying to repeat. But the Nasus is regressing and so is Isaiah Harwell. It's not going to be easy to win a second ring in a row, especially at 40. The Nasus is different, man. We went out here and were the number one seed despite him being 40 and after this season the Nasus wants to leave the game so this is his final chance to win one last chip round number one we got the Atlanta Hawks we're gonna take care of them in five round two we got the Cavs we take care of them in five next up it's Miami we're up three to two and we finish the job in six we're back in the finals this Kings team isn't too crazy either. I think the Nasus has it. Game one will go to us. We also take game two. Oh my goodness. He's about to go out on top. No, don't blow this lead. Let's go. The Nasus Antetokounmpo wins another championship. So he only won two rings in this video, but he won them both at the very end of his NBA career. He goes out on top winning a title. What a career it was for the Nasus. Two chips and MVPs two finals MVPs, 15 all-star appearances, seven all-NBA first-team appearances, and five all-NBA second-team appearances. The Nasus even finished seventh all-time in scoring, and he finished first in threes made with over 7,500. That's it for the video. Have a great day. Be sure to like and subscribe.